first Synergy Enterprise. It is the next generation of Exact's Synergy line. Um, compared to the uh, current version that some of you are running, it allow, has an increased ability to create custom dashboards in a web interface. Now, for those of you that have not seen Synergy at all, I'm not going to go into a, a huge discussion of it, but essentially it's a web-based um, application that works with your Macola system, allows you to do some document management, workflow, project management, CRM, things like that. Um, it does, the current version, older version, uh, does have some dashboard homepage capabilities, but it's, it's somewhat limited. Uh, the newer version definitely has some nicer features in this area, um, both built into itself and, um, as you see there on the third bullet, um, it's Synergy Enterprise is built with a technology called ASP.NET, which is not all that important to you guys as users, other than it allows it to have some nicer user interface features, including integration with what on the slide there it says SSRS, and that stands for SQL Server Reporting Services, which is one of the reporting platforms we'll talk about towards the end of the presentation. Um, and then the other note I always mention is um, compared to the the older current version, Exact is putting um, significantly more development effort into the Synergy Enterprise product. Uh, just uh, food for thought. So I'm not saying anybody should jump to it immediately, but just want to keep you a little bit educated on where things are going there. This is Exact's um, demonstration company for the Synergy Enterprise product. Actually, if you're interested in going there yourself, I can send you that URL or you can screenshot it right now if you want. Um, you can just log in there and uh, it will um, let you come in here and play uh, anytime you want to. But uh, I bring this up mainly to uh, show a contrast to those of you that are using the older version of Synergy, um, some of the, the interface differences uh, as they relate to the dashboard topic, where you can see here I've got some very different things on my home page than I was able to have uh, in the older version. This, for example, is a built-in opportunity funnel report, which obviously we couldn't have before, and I can drill into uh, my my different sales opportunities uh, that way. <clears throat> I have a monitor section here, which I couldn't have before. I actually have some personal information about myself, uh, the user that I'm logged in as uh, here. And I have some other custom things. And, and again, you could, you could do some of this in the old version of, of Synergy, but not, not to the extent you can here, where I can just put all kinds of links and, and reports right here on my home page. In this case, I don't have the reports listed here. Um, I've got them one click away where I can drill in right there and it'll show me um, my different dashboard reports. So again, in the interest of time, I'm not going to drill into a lot of them, but here is a, uh, an accounts completeness dashboard looking at you know incomplete information. Here's opportunities by account manager. Here's another drill into my sales funnel, things like that. So in this case, I've got them da uh, down here one level down, <clears throat> but you can also place those right here um, on my home page so that when somebody drills in or they click on the home page link up here, uh, those those uh, reports come right up. And the, the important takeaway here is beyond the built-in integration or reporting integration that um, Synergy Enterprise has with its own reports, you can use the SQL Server reporting services integrated into these home pages. So you can, if you again, more of you probably use Crystal than SQL Server reports now, but if you can imagine building a Crystal report, let's say with a graph or a gauge or some sort of list of information in it, you can embed it right here in your uh, home page so that when the user comes in, they see that immediately, and you can provide drill down from that report to different other, uh, other different pieces of information within the system. So, um, Again, going this route requires that you obviously adopt um, Synergy Enterprise um, and SQL Server reporting services if you want the full capability. But for those of you that are already sort of partway down that road and are thinking of moving ahead, um, I think that's certainly a viable option for you.